2014 was a year in transition for the NBA. LeBron was back in Cleveland, the Warriors were just beginning a dynasty even if nobody knew it yet, and a bunch of teams looked toward the NBA draft with hopes of building a roster that could create long-term, sustainable success. Seven teams in particular appeared to plot out a vision for the future. The Lakers, Celtics, Knicks, Suns, 76ers, Timberwolves, and Denver Nuggets. But just five years later, are the Denver Nuggets the last team still trusting the process? Let's first look at the Los Angeles Lakers. From 2014 to 2017, the Lakers would miraculously win four top seven NBA draft picks, including three consecutive number two picks. Those picks turned into Julius Randle, D'Angelo Russell, Brandon Ingram, and Lonzo Ball. Those four would combine to form several different versions of the best young core in the NBA, at least according to every Lakers fan everywhere. The Lakers have also had three coaches over that span, and while Lakers fans had fallen in love with their young prospects, Lakers management seemed less excited. Russell was traded to Brooklyn, Randall was allowed to walk in free agency, Ingram, Lonzo, and Hart were traded for Anthony Davis, and over that same span, the Lakers have parted ways with Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance Jr., Ivaka Zubats, Thomas Bryant, Zvi Mikhailuk, and not to mention other prospects whose names you might not even remember. Of the young players to come through Staples Center over the last half decade, only Kyle Kuzma remains. On the other coast, the Knicks began their rebuild around Chris Depp's Porzingis. They added Willie Hernan Gomez and Frank Natilakina and briefly looked like they had a foundation in place. But the Knicks have spent the last four years reshuffling the deck, swapping out recently drafted players and adding new pieces until eventually they decided to move on from Porzingis. Their new rebuild is now centered around RJ Barrett. On paper, the Timberwolves had a great foundation in Andrew Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns, two number one overall draft picks who were taken in consecutive drafts. They added Zach Levine, Chris Dunn, Tyus Jones, and Nemanja Bjelica, and for a moment, had one of the most intriguing young cores built around a transcendent talent who might have the highest upside of any young player not named Giannis. But after two seasons, the Wolves turned Levine and Dunn into Jimmy Butler and Derrick Rose. They also brought in a notoriously impatient coach in Tom Thibodeau in what appeared to be a move to accelerate the timeline. After Miles' success, the Wolves have reset their process by sending Butler to Philadelphia for Dario Saric and Robert Covington and adding Josh Okogie in the draft. Saric is now with the Suns and Jones is with the Grizzlies, so the Wolves still have some youth, but they're pretty far from their original young core. Then there's the Phoenix Suns, who drafted Devin Booker in 2015, the first of five straight drafts in which they'd have a lottery pick. The Suns added a core of Dragon Bender, Marquise Chris, and Josh Jackson over the next two seasons, but never got out of the basement in the Western Conference. Now, Chris, Jackson, Bender, and TJ Warren are all gone. They've added DeAndre Ayton, Mikael Bridges, Elia Kobo, and Cameron Johnson, who, along with Booker, may still bloom into a competitive team. But after five years of rebuilding, it appears the Suns are still at square one of their process. Like the Timberwolves, the Celtics had and still have two big pieces of the puzzle in Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, and have developed rotation players like Marcus Smart and Terry Rozier. But they too cashed in some of their roster in an effort to speed up their timeline. They brought in Gordon Hayward, Kyrie Irving, and Al Horford to form a big three that Tatum and Brown could learn from. They found a lot of success despite some tough injury luck, but after two seasons, both Horford and Kyrie are gone, as is Terry Rozier. That means the 2019-20 season will be the first season that the Celtics are Tatum and Brown's team. Then there's the team that actually coined the phrase, trust the process, the 76ers. Designed by Sam Hinkie, the unconventional GM who was committed to having the longest view in the room and was willing to tank for several years in a row in an effort to stockpile as many lottery picks as possible, becoming a cult hero along the way. Technically, the process began with the selection of Nerland's Noel in 2013, but it truly began in earnest when the Sixers drafted Joel Embiid the following year. Then they added Jalil Okafor, Ben Simmons, and Markel Fultz, two number one picks taken in back-to-back -back years. Over that span, the 76ers also added players like Jonah Bolden, Robert Covington, Dario Saric, Timothy Luawu Cabarro, Furkan Korkmaz, Rashawn Holmes, Jeremy Grant, Michael Carter-Williams, Zaire Smith, and a whole host of other guys. And here's who's left. The 76ers cashed in their process for Jimmy Butler and Tobias Harris, a move that nearly got them to the Eastern Conference Finals and maybe even this close to an NBA championship. More on that in a minute.
Let's now turn our attention to the Denver Nuggets and rewind back to the 2014 draft, the unofficial start of the Denver Nuggets rebuild and the first real draft of the Tim Conley era. The Nuggets picked up three players in that draft, two of whom would come over to be rookies that next season, Yusef Nurkic and Gary Harris. In 2015, the team added Michael Malone, Nikola Jokic, and Emmanuel Moutier. In 2016, Jamal Murray, Malik Beasley, and Juancho Hernan Gomez. In 2017, Tyler Lydon and Monte Morris. In 2018, they added Michael Porter Jr., Thomas Welsh, and Jared Vanderbilt. And in 2019, they added Bol Bol and Vlatko Chanchar. Of the 15 people added over that five-year span, only three are no longer with the team. The four main veteran players who were added to the roster have either received a second contract with the team or, in Millsap's case, had his stay extended by the team picking up his team option. The result has been a pretty linear improvement in the win-loss column, beginning with just 30 wins in 2015 up to last year's 54-win season and a run to Game 7 of the Western Conference Semifinals. That's not to say that trusting the process is the right way to rebuild. After all, the Celtics and 76ers have both come closer than the Nuggets to winning a championship. But the Nuggets' motto has been to not skip steps. The team remains one of the youngest teams in the NBA and are at least in the conversation for title contention heading into the 2020 season with a fresh pipeline of high upside talent that has yet to even step on the court. So when it comes to trusting the process, sorry 76ers fans, that title now belongs to the Denver Nuggets.